Hey guys, welcome back to another video with Carl's Garage. And in today's video, I'm going to be putting back my repaired dashboard cap. This right here, this is the part that I repaired. This is the whole thing. You guys can see the whole thing right here. I repaired it. I'm not too much worried about the cracks or anything because I'm gonna use a cover to cover all this. So what I needed it to do to be is just basically flat. And then I'll just buy like a cover off of Amazon and I'll put the cover in the link in the description down below cover off of like Amazon and then I'll cover it up. But the goal of today's video is to just, uh, we're gonna put everything back all right here and then I'm gonna put everything back and we're gonna complete the interior of the crash. And then uh, in future videos, we will do the fender and the hood and everything else. But uh, yeah, I'm basically done once I put this back and the other piece that goes right here, once I put this back and the other piece that goes right here, we will be all set and it will show you guys the final product of the uh, interior of the crash Chevy. So let me go ahead and uh, this actually goes in two pieces. So I'll be putting this piece in first and then bolting it down and then putting the uh, other piece behind, I mean on top. So you slide it in like this. I'm just trying to get it in the car for now. Once I get it in, I'm gonna bolt it in, 10 millimeter bolts. Go in the, uh, there's a bolt right here a bolt right there, another bolt right there, and another one over there. There are also some wires. Let me show you guys, because I had this issue. There are also some weird wires. Well, mine has the, uh, and again, I will be fixing all that. Mine has this sort of, I don't know what that is. You guys let me know in the comments down below if you guys have this thing right here. Because I tried to start the car without it and it wouldn't start. I disconnected it. So I have to, I can't do this with the camera in my hand, but you do have to keep this thing right here plugged in and it routes like a little bit like right there through that little slit and then you can just rest it on top. The same thing with the little, I don't know if you guys can see that, that little, I don't even know what the hell that thing is right there, but an indicator light, I guess for the security system. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. It's a little tricky because that thing is supposed to come up. Let's see where it comes through the hole and then it comes over. You don't want to rip it. To give you guys a better look, this thing, again, I don't know if you will have this in your car. I have it in mine and the car will not start without it. So I had to kind of fish this thing through this hole. I had to kind of fish this thing through this hole. These things clamp in here and then this should go right here. Anyway, that clamps in there and then I can lay it flat. And then don't forget about this thing right here in the middle. I don't know what this is for. I think this is part of the light or something that blinks red. And then I'm gonna slide the whole thing in. All right, so hopefully that's a little bit better angle. I'm gonna try to fit all this stuff in. Freaking flies. Very hard to do this with the steering wheel. So it looks like that it fits right there because it kind of just clicked in without me having to do anything. Then I'm gonna run this wire. I'm gonna run this like, like this. We're gonna push this back and fly out of here. I'm gonna push this back to where it's supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be somewhere around there. I'm gonna make sure there's no tension on that. Actually, this is, there is tension. This is supposed to be in this groove right here. Yes, there, it's supposed to be like that. Leave the tension off of there. Get ready to fly. And then now we gotta do is just line everything up. Everything is pretty much pushed back. And remember this side got blown out. Remember this side got blown out, so I gotta try to clip this in. But now what I'm gonna do is try to take these 10 millimeter bolts here and uh, bolt everything in. And this fly is like indestructible. Around there is where it's supposed to be. Yeah, see, everything snaps in. I really don't even need the bolts, but I'm gonna do at least one or two anyway. And this one over here was really hard to get to, so then I'm gonna do one over here. I'm gonna do at least one bolt in the middle to kind of keep it down. Again, it is all clipped in, so it's not gonna move anywhere. It's a dashboard, it's not you're gonna be pulling on it. You know, it's in there. It's really in there, because it's all clipped in. It's really easy from, you know, easy from now, but I'm gonna do at least one bolt. If I can get it in there. If I can't, I'm not tripping. I will not let it ruin my day. Because again, I'm gonna put a cover over this whole thing anyway. So I got one bolt started. So I got that one bolt in there. Where is it? Can't even feel it. it's all the way in there. Oh yeah, right there. Let me tighten it up a little more. This way it doesn't stick out. All right, clamp down these clamps right here. 
because that's where they go. All right, now I'm gonna put the back cap in back there, which I uh, fixed and I'll show you guys that right now. So this right here is our plastic piece that goes in the back. I did duct tape it, but it is, let me show you guys out here in the light. It is plastic welded all on the back. That's why it's so rigid. It is plastic welded all right here. I did a really good job. Again, I didn't use those stupid sticks. I used plastic that broke off from the car and that made a huge difference. So this thing is all set. And this piece right here, um, I just I just taped again because I'm gonna be covering all this with a cover. But remember, I'm not doing this to sell this car. So for all the comments out there, you could have did this and you could have did that. No, guys, listen. I'm not doing this to sell this car. I'm just doing it just to put it back to where it's visually decent because remember, this car has a salvage title. So when I bought it as a patrol car and took all the stuff off and did all that, that's a project for Carl's Garage. And I was gonna sell it, but it became so valuable because having a second car in Texas and as much traveling as we do, it became valuable. So I was only gonna sell it if I was gonna get everything that I put into it. And not too many people really want this type of car. It's not, you know, it's not a sought after car. So, you know, if I sold it, I sold it. If not, it served an amazing purpose. So unless I get what I put into it, it's actually worth the few hundred bucks that I'm gonna, that it's gonna cost me for the hood, the light and the windshield to put this thing back and keep it going. You know what I mean? Cause it's not gonna, again, and I'm still paid from YouTube. I'm paid from two YouTube channels. So a lot of the money that I make off of YouTube I'm able to put back into the car. So that's the reason why a lot of, you see a lot of YouTubers do a lot of things because the more content that we make, especially in December, we get paid a lot more in December, the more content that we make for YouTube, the more that we're gonna get paid. So why not spend the rest of this month putting this thing together, creating content, answering your questions, and then getting paid for it. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put this piece back there. Got the whole piece right here. Again, I don't give a damn about the duct tape or anything, so save your comments for yourself because there's gonna be a nice cloth, you know, $35 dashboard cover that's gonna go over this thing. And you know, if you ever got into the car, you would never know that there was all this damage underneath. And again, remember, I'm not doing this to sell it. I'm just slapping this thing back together. Just for anybody out there with the exact same problem, if you have a car crash on something that's not worth anything, right? This car is, doesn't have that much value, but the engine still runs really good. Yeah, I could try to take, you know, a year parting out the whole thing, but you know, in my house, in my neighborhood, I can't have a car just sitting here with an engine torn out of it. I'm gonna get in trouble with homeowners association and stuff like that. They've already been here looking at the car, you know what I mean? So the more I put it back together, the more I don't get fined by a homeowner's association and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and start clipping everything in. This piece right here in the middle is very important. It has to come up right here, like perfectly in the middle. It's very weird. Keep the thing right here. Be very careful. I don't wanna break it. Better take that. I'm just gonna push it. So it ain't perfect, but it's in there. A little light didn't come through. It's close enough. So I'm gonna go get the grill right here and kind of put this back and we're gonna make this thing look. All right, so we got the dash trim piece right here. This should just slide right in. I shouldn't have to move this. And again, this is super easy. It just connects with these uh, two screws like this on either side over here. Oh, look, I almost forgot to connect it. See, all right, so those buttons work. Make sure we're down here, over here. There we go. Then in there. It'll be a little rough with it. So this right here is oh, so that ripped off there. And it doesn't want to click. Okay. So what I'm having a trouble with is when the airbag blew, it ripped off this little piece right here. And what I can do is I could take that out, but Screw it, I'll just deal with it. It'll just be up a little bit. I'm not gonna deal with it. I could repair this little tab. So it's a tab like this, and it got broken open like this when the airbag blew up. So it's a tab like this, and the screw is supposed to go in there. I could take the screw out, lift the tab up, plastic weld it, stick it back down, stick it in. I'm not gonna go through all that. It'll just be a little hump, I'm not tripping. So that's how it's supposed to be, nice and snug. But like I said, that piece came up. You will not be able to notice with that cloth hanging because I'm going to get the one where it's like a cloth and it hangs over here. So it covers all of this. 
I'm gonna go to this side and fix this side. No, first thing I'm gonna do is screw in on the side. These pins for these little bolts right here on the side. Cause I forgot these screw ones actually go in the A pillars to replace the A pillar. So they look identical, but one has a Phillips head. One has a Phillips head and the other one is just the uh, socket. So these are the ones that keep the thing on, keep, the, keep this piece right here on. And I think it's a seven, which is right here. And yes, it's a seven. So I'm gonna stick these in. Again, one goes right here and the other one goes right here. And also with the weight of that thing, it should weigh it down some. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Now I'm gonna get the A pillars in with the speakers and we should be all set. This one goes in, this one goes in like this, but you gotta remember that the speaker, you gotta remember to put the speaker back. Little pick tool, get all this stuff right here. There's only one clip. Get all this out, all this pressure out. All right. I would not suggest doing this with gloves because I made it all dirty, but I'm not worried about that. Take our screw, screwdriver. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and then I'll put back the uh, this piece right here and I'll show you guys the final result. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. I can't put this back in and kind of complete the whole thing because this right here broke off in the accident. So I used some super glue and now it's curing, so that might take like 24 hours to cure, but for the most part, it is all set. Again, I will be putting I will be putting that cloth dash over here, and then, but yeah, now the interior is all set. I can just jump in the car, start it, and next, only thing I have to worry about is the windshield, obviously. In Texas, you probably will get in trouble for driving with that, but I've seen people with windshields like this all the time, and if you get pulled over, you just tell them you're going to the windshield shop or whatever, and then they'll just let you go, but, so I got to do the windshield. That's going to be the most expensive thing. The headlight I found for 45 bucks on eBay. The hood I got for 150 and I'm still thinking about repairing the fender and I can repair the bumper myself. So not much I can't do on this, on this car, but outside of that, slapping on the tires. The only way that I don't move forward with driving this car is if there's major damage to the tie rods and everything underneath the car. But remember, I actually already placed those. I mean, already replaced those. So it wasn't it wasn't difficult to do. It would just cost more money. But I think I got both sets for like 60 or 70 bucks. Both sets are inner and outer tie rods back in that video. So it wouldn't be hard to do it again. I just don't want to, but if I have to, I will. All right, guys, be basic. Stay tuned for the next video. All right, guys, so it's the end of the video here. And as you see, I got the... Ugh. I got the steering wheel thing. What is this, the airbag holder? This right here did glue on. See if I got any more light. Yeah, so I got this whole piece right here on. This is glued on. Uh, this is just duct tape on. As you can see, the whole dash is good there. It just connected the battery terminal, uh, the negative. So I'll show you guys, she does start. What I like to do is, I like to just turn it like that. Heat and everything still works and there's like a buzzing noise. And then once the buzzing noise stops, it usually starts right after that. So I try to come out here and start it at least once every other day, but everything is really, I mean, it's a mess in here. Uh, because I remember I had this thing mint condition. I shampooed all the carpets and everything, but yeah, she still runs really well doesn't overheat so the other day i let it run for like 35 minutes to see if it would overheat nothing check engine light goes off idles down radio works i won't turn that on heat works everything works defroster works now not the rear defroster because i took that relay out that relay is in here somewhere i forgot where the hell that relay is but the rear defroster relays in here somewhere, but we're in Texas, so I'm not really too worried about none of that. But yeah, so I like to come and run it. So that's gonna be it for this video. Again, stay tuned for the next video when I either fix the windshield or fix the hood or fix some other cosmetic parts. It does drive, so I, you notice I'm facing forward. I had to put the tires on, which I did off camera, put the tires on, then because the homeowners association didn't like that it was 
facing the street all ugly and stuff like that and it was flat tire so they thought it was a car that didn't need to be here all this other side all this other bs so i had to slap the tires on it drive it and turn it so it definitely drives i drove it down to the end of the street there over there but it did just fine you know it is definitely needs an alignment i think maybe you know one of the tie rods something like that might be a little loose but nothing crazy i looked underneath everything works well so that's gonna be it for this video guys stay tuned for the next one please like i said support 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 uh you can do that by subscribing R remember carl's garage channel is no longer monetized they demonetize me till march i think third or second or something like that because of the other shorts that i were putting on that i was putting on the channel so i have to put all the carl's garage content right here on straight of the content the original channel so also check out all those kia videos if you have any questions there check out all those videos and uh stay tuned for more